I'm gonna start this video off with quite possibly one of the most inoffensive statements of all time. Minecraft is a game that some people like or dislike. What do I think about it? Well, if you asked me three years ago what me and Minecraft's relationship was, I would've kicked my feet up and started giggling. But when you ask me now, it's more like a married couple who are falling out of love who have a hard time looking at each other. You see, Minecraft is a pretty great game, all things considered, but when you've been playing it for nearly 10 years straight like I have, you kinda get bored. I know, shocking, right? Bored of a video game? Blasphemous. But then you realize Mojang's absolute refusal to update the game in a timely manner, and it all starts to make sense. Like, imagine if Fortnite dropped one season a year. Yeah, that's pretty fucked, right? So, why am I making this video then? You see, the idea of a Minecraft video has been haunting my brain for years. Not a joke, by the way. Uh, I planned out a huge Minecraft VR video twice, with both getting cancelled due to the sheer ambition and commitment to them. And when the idea of it popped back into my head recently, I knew this time would be different. Instead of any crazy challenge or scripted epic, let's tone it back and just take in every moment and beat Minecraft in virtual reality. Oh shit, that's the video! But first, if you could like the video and subscribe, it would help out a lot. YouTube has been randomly unsubscribing people, so check and make sure that you are subscribed. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Cow. We start off our journey on an abandoned island with- wait, 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 abandoned island? As if there wasn't a better way to start off this video, uh, my luck had put me onto an island with a single birch tree. Meaning, this whole playthrough starts with me trying to haul ass out of there. So, as the first item I made in this game was comically a boat, I set sail to find an actual livable place. We got a pirate ship. As if my luck couldn't have taken a bigger 180, I was now face to face with a wrecked ship. That on itself is lucky, but what I found inside of it two seconds later? So I know I probably won't, but what if, now let's just say hypothetically, what if there were diamonds in this chest? That's, that makes sense. That is expected. Oh shit. Okay. No. Fuck. Oh! <laughs> You're kidding me! You're actually joking! I got dream luck. Holy shit, I got dream luck. I don't know how to swim up though, I might die. Yeah, I suddenly forgave my unfortunate spawn as that would quite possibly be the only unlucky thing to happen thus far. Not five minutes into the world, and not only have I found a handful of iron, I found diamonds. Well, technically diamond, but who cares? You're joking. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Wait, that means there's an ocean temple nearby too. You're fucking kidding me. Wait a minute, that's not too far from here. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, fuck. I have currently no survival instincts. I need to get the fuck out of here right now. Okay, it should be... Fuck. Oh, oh God! I shit you not, I searched this area for almost 10 minutes and came out with absolutely nothing. Uh, I don't know if God is just fucking with me or if I'm just stupid, it's probably both, actually, but I could not for the life of me find this buried treasure. So, unfortunately, I put down my shovel and gave up. But that's not life and death, right? Exactly, so I put back on my paper sailor's hat and set sail for more land. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Get him! Get him! Beat his ass! Yeah, get him! Oh shit, is that- Oh! Land! Uh, hopefully it's not a small island. Oh, I don't think that's a small island at- Fuck! The boat is fucked. The boat is gonna give me motion sickness. Is it raining? Are you kidding me? Oh, this is gonna be terrible for the bitrate. You might be asking yourself, Zach, what do you mean the bitrate gets low? You see, uh, to sum it up, I'm using wireless VR, meaning my headset is connected to my PC via Wi-Fi. It's great, uh, but it comes with its flaws. One being every single bitrate issue that goes alongside the internet. Tom Scott made a great video on this, but to sum that up, uh, when there's a bunch of tiny individual moving pixels on the screen, it takes more work to keep the image quality in top shape. Meaning, while you are all seeing this in crystal clear display, uh, my in-head set gameplay currently looks like this. Fun. And while my bitrate can't be fixed, my eyesight in VR can't thanks to the VR Wave prescription lenses, which are the sponsor of today's video. If you have glasses, you know how much of a pain playing in VR is sometimes. Even with the glasses spacer, it's pretty hit and miss and often leads to discomfort and an all around worst game experience. Fortunately for you, VR Wave has you covered with these sleek prescription lenses that fit your specific prescription. Say goodbye to long VR sessions that end your glasses being three inches into your skin. Say goodbye to an unusually grotesque amount of fogging up from your glasses and say goodbye to some other third thing. 
game because VR Wave fixes all problems with wearing glasses in VR. Meta did an absolutely terrible job with the Quest 3 glasses spacer. The build quality of it is so terrible, mine broke within a week, leaving my glasses to awkwardly push up against my face, which, if you wear glasses, you know that's just terrible. The lenses are insanely easy to set up, you just pop two bases in, and the lenses themselves are just magnets that you put on and off whenever you want. It's amazing and has immensely increased my enjoyment within VR. Uh, my name is Joe Biden, uh, I love the VR Wave prescription lenses, they help me see in VR, you should check them out. Thank you to VR Wave for sponsoring the video, and now, since I can see the game, let's keep playing it. After getting used to more than controls, I put that iron I found earlier to use by crafting myself a shield and some iron boots. How do you- Oh! That's so weird. So, you, you push one of the buttons on this controller to do that. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> that feels so wrong. The next few minutes consisted of your usual Minecraft experience. That, you know what I'm talking about. I killed the local wildlife, mined the local natural resources, and took considerably longer to do things than in basic Minecraft. I didn't know going in, but uh, doing everything in VR is much, much harder. Like, sure, you technically have more precision, uh, but in a game like Minecraft, that actually kind of works against you. Alright, I'm going to set up a little camp beside this big cave, and uh, we're just gonna see what happens from there. Never mind, we're not going to set it up there, actually. Let's not do that. Let's not fucking do that. Let's actually not do that. We're gonna get- If I put a bed there, I'm going to get touched in my sleep, and I don't want to do that. Why is every place in here fucking dangerous? You know what? It's hard-ass scenery. I'll sleep at the cliff, I guess. Do I- <laughs> Fuck, I don't have wood! And with our smoke now schmeated, I mean our smoke now sheeted, I mean fuck- Hey, I won't bother letting socially awkward bad at talking unscripted Zach for you, uh, let me explain instead. Basically, while I'm here to beat the game, there are a few non-essential end goals I'd like to complete. So far, there's two, and I'll let you know if I get more, but as of now, these goals are, number one, getting a music disc, and number two, getting a maxed out enchantment table. Anyways, bed. Where's the bed? Hey! <laughs> let's go! All right, let's, uh, let's fucking sleep. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Now the rain goes away? Anyways, I can't lie and admit that playing this game by yourself genuinely gets kind of lonely. Like, sure, I can take off my headset at any time and talk to someone, but I do kind of have to, you know, make the video. So, I asked the Puerto Rican prince himself, Mars, co-star of the hit series Logs of the Radius, to help me on my Minecraft journey, and before I knew it, he was right there with me. Oh, yeah. I think I see you. Yep, there you, you are. You see me? Where, yep. where are you? Oh, Mars! I'm beating the shit out of the cow. Oh, dude, you have no idea how much different this game looks with, like, another person. Holy shit. I was so lonely. Do you want a 49 sand? Yes, sir. Let me give you some wool for that. How'd you get that? What is that? <laughs> oh, it's wool. I thought That's it was terracotta. Great wool. Creeper right behind you, by the way. Like, right there. No, there's- where? Right here. No, there's not. He's just down there. He's chilling. Oh, well, He's I wouldn't chilling. say right behind me. I hope you get blown into Oh. Oh. Hey, buddy. <gasps> oh. oh. Oh, he's friendly. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I'm petting his head right now. He's tweaking. What is happening? Hey, buddy. He's kind of cute. He does not care. <laughs> he really doesn't. He's, can we he's keep just him? He's you in that corner. Let's can keep we keep him? him? What are we going to name him? What can we call him? Um, um, the, uh, I Cliff. Agree. Cliff. <laughs> Cliff. He's Cliff. Hi, Cliff. Cliff the Creeper. Cliff the Creeper. Hi, Cliff. <laughs> Anyways, after digging around a bit, me and Mars decided to go caving, and let me tell you, caves are on a completely different level in VR. Like, this is mental! Four block drops feel like a gap of 20 feet in VR, so uh, looking at a wide open cave gives off a completely crazier scale. It's also, uh, Really? Like, like, really dark. Uh, I made sure max brightness was on too, and, uh, it didn't help. It was pretty mandatory to use a torch, as anything else would leave me with actual blindness. This... Oh, shit. I'm good. Holy fuck, I'm at one heart! I did not notice Damn. that. Did not notice think... that. Put the furnace. Huh? Where? Put a furnace down. I don't have the furnace. I'm anywhere. And why the fuck did you say you did? No, oh, I, I had one at, at my little, my little home. You're a failure. Where's the- where the fuck is my iron? I know I got some. Did I not, like, get any? I guess not, because there's just none. HOLY SHIT, YOU HAVE 32! <laughs> Puerto Rican. Once we eventually emerged from the caves, we had one goal in mind. Find a place to settle down and live. 
And so we did! We searched far and wide, coming across some cool landmarks like another abandoned ship. Oh, oh, I'm going! I'm Mars, I'm going! <laughs> and this cool pillager outpost on top of a snowy mountain. I wanna go up there so bad. Holy shit! You will probably need help. Oh, yep, I already saw one. And okay, a couple does, does it see you? Drop down. Oh, that's fine by me. I'm in the base, Fuck you. I'm in the base. Fuck you! I'm in the base, I'm in the base. I'm up top, I'm up top. I'm all the way up top. I'm fighting, I'm fighting, hold on. I opened the chest, oh, shit. got that thing. Ooh. Feel, it's what dead. is feel? I got one. Holy shit, I got a crossbow. Oh, there's nothing else here. Just one chest. I'll still, like, break it, take it. We such wood a... base here, but, like... This is such a... Yeah, I mean... It's not a terrible place. I don't know, it feels kind of... Lonely. It's a good over... temporary place, huh? Um... Maybe? I don't know. It feels like too much of a hassle to get down. So. I forgot. They're also going to be spawning the whole time, so... Yeah, we should probably get out. Usually there's more. I'm surprised there yeah, wasn't that, more. Yeah, there were like, what, two? Yeah, we fought. T we found two of them in that whole thing. There's a skeleton down oh, there. I, I just, just heard the third. Kit, so, death perception isn't really working. If I... Could I make that? You know what? Fuck it. No! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! What happened? <laughs> that was so fucking close! Holy shit! Woo! Oh, that? Uh, yeah. yeah, we both did. I realized how scary that was. Yeah, no. In VR, that was terrifying, and also, holy shit, look behind you. So, were we successful with hunkering down? <laughs> no. As it turns out, we weren't above looking at shiny objects and going, ooh, shiny. So, when we were faced with a ravine slightly larger than your mom, we decided to go in. Little did we know, we would be embarking on another mining session that lasted nearly 40 minutes. Hey, at least we got some diamonds and obsidian out of it, so it's not all bad. Oh boy, I love cutting bars while he gathers obsidian. How much do you have? Uh, nine. Nine? Yeah. You know, Hitler said that a lot. <laughs> you need to die. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, we eventually emerged once more and finally set our sights on discovering a place we could call home. And what better way to start that journey than by watching the sunrise? Look, look, just look at the sun, Mars. Let's, let's look at the sunset. <sighs> Let me lean my back up against the sand block. <sighs> We're gonna beat Minecraft, Mar. Yep. We can do this. We got this. With no distractions left to keep us from we go, we- Ooh. Oh, that's actually cool, though. I want to go Hold down on. here. Fuck. Holy sh- Ah. <laughs> <laughs> right, fuck. Hold on. Where are- Okay, fuck it, whatever. Oh, diamonds! Immediately, I immediately Are you fucking diamonds. kidding? Oh. You uh, found no, diamonds? I see him right now. I'm gonna go grab him. Right now. Holy because shit. Because they're right over there. <laughs> and holy shit, that is a spider oh. that I cannot fend off against. Help! Help me! Help! Help me! Don't leave me real quick. I'm trying something in the VR settings. I might can... Uh, how do I turn the fucking brightness off? I hear a zombie. You better beat his ass. God damn it, Mars! You're probably running outdated shaders. Running a shader? Yeah. I don't use anything. I'm not. Let me see. What what's the difference between off and internal? This is the exact moment that my recording software completely crashed. Uh, I don't know why, but changing my shaders completely messed up the recording, leaving the rest of the footage to look like this. So, yes, it's pretty inconvenient, but nothing too crazy happened in the 40 minutes the footage was corrupted. Well, but nothing too crazy happened in the 40 minutes the footage was corrupted. Basically, we mined some more in the caves and got a few diamonds and eventually made our way out of the caves where we would soon find, finally, a place to call home. Instantly, both me and Mars got to work on terraforming, setting things up. I worked on making a lake to put our recently found off-camera axolotl, Fanta, 
while Mars set up an entrance to this cool little place that we would both turn into a dock. Over the next chunk of time, me and Mars would both finish our respective jobs, and I chipped in to help with the interior of the little dock cave, and I gotta say, everything actually came out surprisingly nice. But with all this done, there's still no time to slack off. So with the help of Mars, I was graciously lended some iron picks, and I began my journey to strip mine for full diamond armor. Uh, found sheep? No fucking... Sheep. God, bah. 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 Shut up, <laughs> Shut up, Patrick! Shut the fuck up! Shut up, Patrick! Shut the fuck up! Shut up, Patrick! Shut the. What are you stupid? You think a cow is gonna look at some seeds? And go like, I'm mm, scrumptious, nah. dude. I don't know, dude. Shut up! Fuck off, dude. I don't know. These things are old. These seeds look quite <laughs> scrumptious. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, five minutes into strip mining, I've already gone fucking loony. So trust me, I know you don't want to see me mining for 20 minutes, so let's just skip to what you care about. I ended the strip with 17 diamonds, which I quickly used to get nearly full diamond armor for everything. So I'm comp the, the script is caught up to current. Oh shit, that's cool. <laughs> Big awesome. In the background, Mars was getting hard at work, starting on our enchantment table goal. So I focused on another, getting a disc. After a few minutes of finding skeletons and creeper to cram in boats, we ended up with not one, not two, but five discs. 13, 11, cat, weight, and my personal favorite, Strad. On a server I had with people about three years ago, after we beat the Ender Dragon, we sat down and played that same disc. And to this day, it's my favorite because of it. Mars. I must start twerking. <laughs> what, are you what are you doing? Get down from there! Go inside with our newly made jukebox and acquired disc. I set up a chill little picnic area, which actually looks pretty nice aside from the, the cum carpet. Yeah, but it's whatever. Things were pretty chill and going great. Luckily, things will always be chill and great. And I may be in an ancient city five minutes later, but Mars finished the enchantment table and it got maxed out and we have a fortune three pickaxe. So, um, that's great. All is great. And God damn it, I'm in an ancient city. Okay, okay. This might be our halfway point. So, let's keep myself sane. I decided not to bring my diamond armor out here as I really wasn't expecting myself to make it out alive. So, I only brought the bare necessities. Oh, and a little visitor showed up to keep me company as Mars had to take a temporary leave. So currently, there are two wardens roaming around and I don't think I like that very much. What are they gonna do? Kill me. No. What? Me personally, I'd wish for a million wishes. That's an Eminem song, you know. Except wishes it's dollars. <laughs> You're so brain rotted, dude. <laughs> you need help. This fucking broad, dude. Oh my god, I hate I hate women. Oh. I feel you, the missus can be brutal. Shut up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the warden should give you like bedrock pickaxe when you kill it. The warden should like give you dick whenever it spawns. No, well then Minecraft would be woke, and I don't want that. Are you Skip recording some. right now? Yeah, I'm recording right now. Aw, oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Just say fuck it and ball. You gotta thug it out. I don't think I can with the warden. I just don't think. I mean, if it was like... If it was the wither, if it was the ender dragon, I think so. Not with the... Oh, found treasure. Mmm... Treasure. There's like one viewer who knows the suffering that I'm going through right now. I don't think there is. I'm actually not keeping any of you talking about this game in the video. <laughs> Hope you know God that. God damn it. No! Dude, if I saw Medusa, I would never turn to stone because my eyes, not looking at hers. I would turn to stone because she turns people to stone. I'll beat her with an iPhone like in Percy Jackson. She will... That did not happen in Percy Jackson. It be, no, did you not see the Percy Jackson movie? No, because like, I'm not a loser who watches Percy Jackson, dude. He, he beat her with an iPhone. <laughs> I should watch Percy like, Jackson. Like, he showed her her own hilarious. reflection on the back of an iPhone. Are you fucking kidding me? 
I got six music fragments. What's, what's funny about the iPod Touch, buddy? I don't know. I think it's not the iPod Touch. I think that's funny that the Medusa got killed by an iPod. So, with minimal cheating, come on, don't lie and say you've beaten the game without cheating just a little, I made it out with some pretty good loot. A notch grapple here, some music disc shards there, some potions. Pretty nice. I even had a few shards to make a full music disc. I wish I didn't though. Uh, anyways, Mars is back, and so I think it's time we go seek out another fortress. I got an enchant on my sword, Mars got some gear of his own ready, and we crafted a portal and made our way to the nether. And let me tell you, this was a grueling trip to the nether. Also, uh, I ignore my mic for a second here. I uh, used the wrong one. I'm just looking through my minimap to see if I see a fortress. Hold up. Check in minimap. I think I see a bastion. Yup, there is. Over there, in that direction. I see it through the minimap. I can hear the pig, I can feel the fat, the fat ass bad piggy bro. But it's in this direction. Bro did. Oh wait, we're really close. It's like above, it's like through here. What the fuck? Fat ass pig. Yes. Brute. Brute. We gotta gang him. Um, Where's this fat ass? Okay, no time for countdown. Oh, nope. Get him. Get him. Get him. I'm so glad I have this potion, bro. Uh, I'm alone because I'm in lava right now. You're probably gonna die. Oh, you're dead, dead. I can't stand him tag. Oh, I see you now. I'll kill him for you. He's dead. Holy shit, I just found another right, like, scrap. In 20 minutes of- Okay, he is- Okay, he's down there. Oh, you fell down there with him. He's dead, dead, okay. Dude, what is happening? What is this, like, suicide shit? Oh. Br brood on me. Oh, never mind. He's fucking dead. Oh, uh, just committed hey, genocide. Nope, found pig step. Are you? No fucking way! Holy shit! Oh, Mars! Oh my god, my goat! Give me a fucking... Yes, yes! Dab me up, dab me up! You almost threw me off Mars, the entire... Mars, Mars, Mars dab me up, dab me up! Wait, hold on, hold on, one more time? No, 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 we gotta jump. We gotta jump, high five like Smosh. You know how Mojang greatly reduced the spawn chance of fortresses? Uh, yeah, I still lose sleep over that. And I'm about to lose even more due to the fact that it took us over an hour to find one! There's so many gaps. Is that a fucking fortress? Holy shit, that is. You found a fortress? After 11 years. Holy shit, did you actually find one? Yeah. Eventually, we did. And aside from the obvious blaze rods we needed, we got some decent loot. Some diamonds, iron, gold, and even a weather skeleton skull. I'd say it was a pretty worthwhile trip. We made it home and celebrated our victory the only way we knew how. Mars, Mars, you know what to do. I gotta cook some serious meth with these blaze rods, bro. We got to work on in-game stuff. Most stuff left to do was just miscellaneous stuff, and for us, that started with Mars organizing the chests. Uh, last night I... I think it was last night, I labeled all the chests. Oh, thank god. <laughs> trucks. And I have big... <laughs> <laughs> I really like... No, I, I like, uh, I like big trucks a lot. That's a good one. We're moving the sugarcane farm so I can finally make Fanta, our pet axolotl's place livable. I put up stone walls around his lake and finally put him in. <laughs> Look at him go. I also did some very light terraforming and put the little bit of land the nether portal was on and transformed it likely to make it look like the nether was leaking out from it. In the background, Mars was doing stuff that only he could do with his busted Fortune 3 pickaxe. I went out shortly after on my own to explore and ended up getting two more discs, one being my third cat disc. Listen, I, I love cat as much as the next guy, but I only need one. Oh, and I got Ward, which is uh, Mars' favorite disc. So now we have our respective favorite disc with Strad and Ward. I also spent 20 minutes going back home to bring dogs I got only for them to not teleport and be lost 
us to time. That's fun. Once I made it back though, Mars had enchanted diamond armor and so did I. I can't believe the dogs didn't follow me back. Why don't they do that? They don't follow you anymore. They do. Well, like clearly not sometimes under certain, you know, Mar, here's some food to cook. Here's some wool. Here's that. I'm giving you some more stuff. I'm not, don't even bother giving me, like, your garbage. I don't want it. No, it's not garbage. I'm putting the garbage away. I'm noticing some garbage right there. There might be some garbage. With that out of the way, it was time for the final journey. Me and Mars geared up, grabbing some gaps, weapons, bows, blocks, anything, and everything that would help us beat the dragon. We said goodbye to our pets, one of which was quite literally being acquired right before our departure. Gerald the sheep, may he live long and prosperously. Come here. Ooh, that sheep right now looking kind of scrumptious. No. I am quite no, hungry, no, no, no. And after that, we left home. Did you, uh, get a try? go. No. Oh, I did. It's like a one use, bro. What? You got a trident? Yeah, on one use, but still a trident. Come on. Go, go, go. We gotta go. We gotta go. I'm rowing. I'm rowing. Is that a... What the hell is that? Oh, it's a skeleton, dude. I it's thought that was a... Fucking... Wait, that's a cow. <laughs> I thought it was a dog. Then I thought it was a skeleton. Then I found out it was a cow. Just gotta keep going deeper, bro. Deeper yep. into the woods. Forever. Until we inevitably find the fucking place. Uh -huh. One. Oh, Dude, I'm gonna eat this fucking food, bro. What happened? Land. Oh, well. Dude, look at how I zoom! Hey. In all honesty, it didn't take us long to find the stronghold. Uh, although we did encounter an Enderman on the way, which, because of looting, gave us five pearls. So, we eventually made it to the stronghold, found the portal, and had exactly enough pearls to make it in because of the Enderman from earlier. Your sacrifice was not in vain, random Enderman. Me and Mars put the pearls Mars, in. Are you ready? And... Yeah. Alright, moment of truth, here we bro? go. I almost fell in the lava. Dude. Me too. Oh, oh god, wow. That's nuts in VR. Oh my god, that is not okay. Genuinely just not okay. Oh god, what? <gasps> <laughs> just shot you in, bro. Alright, uh-oh. Alright. Mar? There's a lot of Endermen. That one's angry. That one okay. doesn't like you. You wanna build? You wanna be the, the builder man bridge? What if I fall? <gasps> Stop! Stop! That's not okay! That was an Enderman, bro! That That's was an not Enderman, okay. bro! No, I know that. I said stop to the Enderman, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> That's not okay! Staircase? You... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Making I'm, it, like, I'm, wide. Yeah, I'm no. I'm afraid, bro. <laughs> I'm afraid. After, After that, that, I don't that, like... Uh oh, I, I see the... I, I don't see... Away. Oh! Oh, I see the health bar. That's interesting. Alright. I, I don't see the health bar for some reason. No clue why. Yeah. Alright, uh, alright, let's get to work. Blue, blue up one. He's shooting shit at me, bro. Okay, come on, hit it, hit it. I just look up. I got a crystal. Bro. Got a crystal. These Endermen are fucking me, bro. They want my booty. What is this? How many are down? How many towers are down? One. I think two. Actually. I, 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 have, I have one down. I've done one. Oh my god, shut up. Like a fourth out Enderman on me, bro. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. That's fine. I got. I'm going up. Oh, 11 Jesus. Ender Pearls from that dude. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, come on, break it, break it. Oh no! Oh, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Could be better, could be better. Come on, come on, break it, break it, break it. Yes, I broke it. Whoa! Whoa! This is a crazy in spawn. What the hell? Wait, I'm looking at it through the minimap. It honestly looks really cool. Wait, do you see like the middle? I just sniped the fuck out of that crystal. I think there's only two left. Yeah. Oh, I just went to a tower. Yeah, that I already has blew not... that one up, bro. Okay. Oh, I see it. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to take the shot. Enderman, don't you dare, bro. Oh, this is gonna be hard to do in VR. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Someone got it. One of us got it. Yeah, I think. Okay. Uh, is that uh, all? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Mars, down and I'm gonna check. I'm dead. Never mind. Oh Thank God. God for water. Thank God for water, bro. I'm gonna start gunning him down. Gun him down. He is. All right. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! We're doing a lot of damage. Okay, that's great. We're at like half health. I mean, they're, oh, he's at half health. I'm out of arrows. Here, 
Here, have a have a ten of those. Thanks, goat. And have like those because I got ooh. Thanks, goat. I gotta make sure I don't lose you. What? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Get him. Think. Wait, he's gonna perch again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Get him. Get him. Oh God. Mars. <laughs> I popped an enchanted gap. Shit. Alright. Come now. Come on. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, where'd you go? <laughs> uh, let me, let me collect it. You got the Space torch? Is down here. I'm putting the torch. Yep, right there. Alright. Go collect. <laughs> Oh, generation. oh wow, it's so small in my hand. <laughs> oh, dude. It's really small in hand. Here you go. Hold it. Hold it, Mars. Yippee! Yippee! <laughs> Alright. It's so awesome. Alright, Mars, we're gonna jump in at the same time. No, okay. I see that. You put that bow away. <laughs> <laughs> Stand aside. No, you- Oh, man. You messed up. Stand, 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 stand side by side. Stand side by side. You ready, Mars? Yep. Three, two, one. Jump. Oh, that's great. That's nice. All right, Mars, come here. There's, there's two more things we gotta do. Number one, we gotta say, we gotta say hello to the pets. Mars! <laughs> Are you kidding? Me? Not in my defense, I did not think that, would kill that him. will not hold up in court. You know what it's time for. This is the disc I, I played when I originally beat the dragon on the very first Minecraft server that I made with friends. No, stop singing. It's gotta be cinematic. Sit on the bench, Mars. Hold up. There we go. There's nothing. You are standing up. There you go. <laughs> hey, hey. Armor off. Armor off. Ow, I punched my... <laughs> Mars, you ready to Whoa. you ready to sign out? Yep. All right. Wait. There's no wait. I gotta take this shit, to Mars. Hurry something. up! <laughs> Hurry up! I have to. There's no more. <laughs> we have to go. Come on. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Goodbye, Mars. Goodbye, sir. We did a good job at failure. We did. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Minecraft VR was truly an experience I don't think I'll ever forget. Minecraft has lost a lot of fun in its recent years to me, and I've been wanting to relive those glory days of playing on servers with friends for a while. So, was this a grand server SMP with all your favorite Minecraft YouTubers? No, and I'm glad it wasn't. It was a celebration of Minecraft and the feeling of getting home, hopping on a server with just you and a buddy. Is this the end of the server? Well, really only time will tell. For now, the server lies dormant until we decide if the time is right. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace out.